only imagine what their families are going through. So I just pray that the Lord rains down on the family, he rains down on the parents, and just keeps them covered and protected, and just let them know that that's all that they need is God, and God alone, and they will get through no matter what. Let your glory fill this place. Let your all consume and fire. Fill this tabernacle and purify our hearts. Surround us in this place. Want you to breathe new life within us. Send a refreshing glory and saturate our hearts. Surround us in this place. Want you to breathe new life within us. Send a refreshing glory and saturate our hearts. Surround us in this place. Want you to breathe new life within us. Send a refreshing glory and saturate. Shower down, shower down, 
scripture with me and if we can stand and reverence the word of God. How many of you know that there's power in the word of God? Amen. Amen. And I want us to stand and read his word in unison and in one accord that the power of God might dwell in this word for the life of the girls. Amen. If you can go with me to Psalms 138 verses 7 and 8. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. I want to give honor to Pastor OUB and his wonderful wife. Pastor OUB, bless you. Thank you so much. It's an honor to come and be a part of this wonderful service on tonight in honor of the young girls. How many of you believe in the power of prayer? Amen. Amen. The Bible Amen. says in James, why are you looking for that? The Bible says in James that, um, that you have to believe that you cannot pray without, without faith and pray wavering back and forth, that you, when you pray, you have to believe right. that God is hearing you and he's going to answer your prayers. Amen. Amen. So we want everyone in this service on tonight to be on one accord yes. and to be steadfast and unmovable, Amen. abounding and believing in the word of God. Amen. Amen. So we're going to read this together. If I walk into the thick of danger, you will preserve my life. I'm sorry, I'm reading that verse 7. If you can read with me. We want to declare this together, amen. If I walk into the thick of danger, you will preserve my life. From the anger of my enemies, you will extend your hand. Your right hand will save me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not abandon the work of your hand. Psalms 138, 7 and 8. Praise the Lord. Lord, we thank you for the word of, for the word that you've already given us. Oh God, we stand on your word. We stand, stand fast on your word in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you on today, God, as we come collectively here together, oh God. On one accord, God, that we may bombard heaven on today, Lord, on behalf of our sisters in Christ, oh God. On behalf of your daughters, Father God. We know, God, that you love them just like we do, God. We know that you have a plan for their life just in the name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord, we thank you right now for their life, oh God. We thank you for their life, God, because you knew them before you formed them in their mother's womb, oh God. And you had a plan and you had a purpose for them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So we pray right now, God, like Jeremiah did, knocking at the door of your heart, God. You said in your word, God, that if we come to you, that you would in no wise cast us away, God, but you would incline your ear to hear us and answer our prayers, Lord. So we just thank you now in advance, God, for hearing our prayers, God. Hallelujah. We thank you right now, God, that we can come boldly before your throne of grace, oh God, in a time of need. And right now, Lord, we need you, oh God. We need you to be God in this situation, oh God. We need you to show your hands strong. Show yourself mighty, oh God, in this situation. For you are all powerful, oh God. You see everything and you know everything, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray now that you would turn up that situation and turn it around, oh God. We bind the hand of every enemy, every satanic force. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual wickedness and high place and anything that comes against you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we bind it, we loose the power of the Holy Ghost that dwells everywhere, oh God. You're not just present in the U.S., but you're present everywhere, oh God. When your son Jesus died on the cross for us, Father God, you released his power unto us, Lord. And for that, we are thankful. So we call on that power that dwells on the inside of us, oh God. Right now, in the name of 
the name of Jesus there to watch over them, God, to protect them, Father God, in the name of Jesus from the hands of the evil one, oh God, from the pestilence, from anything, God, that would hurt them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Spare their life, Father God, because of the prayers of the righteous. You said in your word that if we would fervently pray unto you, oh God, that you would answer our prayers, oh God. So we come tonight, God, fervent, humbled, oh God, with expectation, God, that every prayer, every spoken word, oh God, according to your will, that it will come to pass because you said in your word that heaven and earth shall pass, but my word will never fail. So we stand on your word on today, oh God. We stand on who you are, oh God, and what you promised to us, oh God, and that we can come to you and ask. And whatever we ask, believing in faith, in your son Jesus' name, in the will of God, that you would in no wise cast us away, but you would hear us and answer our prayers and, for, and, and answer our prayers. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you right now, God. We thank you right now, God, for the daughters over there, God, for their lives, oh God, in the name of Jesus, for the hand of protection that is over them, that covers them right now, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray right now that you would keep their bodies strong, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we speak, we pray right now that you would just speak to one, that a Joseph may rise up in the midst of them, that they may come together in prayer, knowing that they have the same power that we do, oh God. That the enemy would stand, would sit down, that the hand of God would rise up in them, oh God. That they may call on the name of Jesus, that they know that he would come and run to their rescue. He said and he promised us that he would be a very present help in the time of trouble. So now, God, let a Joseph rise up in that camp in the name of Jesus. That may speak to them. That may speak life. We bind fear in those girls right now in the name of Jesus. We bind fear in the parents right now in the name of Jesus. We, we lose the power of the Holy Ghost, oh God, in the name of Jesus. That they may stand strong, oh God. That they may conquer their emotions in this situation and look to the only wise God that can do anything, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they may come together and be strong, oh God, and not let what they see move them, oh God, in the name of Jesus, but help them to know. Encourage their hearts, God, because as the days go past, I'm sure that it's difficult for them to maintain and hold on to their faith, oh God, but touch them now, God. Encourage them. Touch them like only you can, Father God, to help them to just hold on, to not give up, to not faint in the name of Jesus, but to hold on. But you, your prayer, you, you draw nigh unto them, God, in the name of Jesus. You said in your word that if we abide in you, that you would abide in us, that you would be there in the name of Jesus. So let them know that though the enemy is around them, oh God, and though that they are walking through that valley of shadow, it's a shadow of them. But let them not fear the evil that has come among them, oh God, that you would be with them and comfort them and keep them in the name of Jesus. We honor your name, God. We give you glory because we do serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is an awesome God. Of righteousness, 
Because they are the children of heritage. Because they are the children of promise. So I'm glad that the devil is mad tonight. Even if all the light goes out of this building tonight, God is still on the throne. God still reigns. And the assignment that every one of us has been given tonight will be performed. It will be achieved. And we shall see the result in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before we, we go any further, I need to ask Minister Wai, Evangelist McMary, please, I need you to start lighting the candles. We're going to do a light, a candle vigil. Because we are going to speak their names. I have all 180 names of those girls that are still missing. I have their names. They're not a figment of our imagination. They're not for news ratings. They're not for talk show ratings. They're not a face. It's not about social media buzzing. 103 days in captivity. 103 days in captivity. Tonight, we are going to speak their names. We are going to speak their names before we go further in our service. On Sunday, May 4th, the Christian Association of Nigeria released the names of remaining 180 abducted schoolgirls. The identities of the teenage girls now enslaved by their captors include names, include names like comfort, blessing, <coughs> grace, rejoice, and glory. May God comfort them, show his blessing upon them, grant them the grace to be to persevere so that when all is said and done, they will have a reason to rejoice and give God all the glory. As the candles have been passed out, I'm going to read their names. All 180 of them. And 95% of them are Christians. Actually, 97% of them are Christians. Deborah Abge. Our Abge. Can you imagine having two of your children missing? Hawa Yima. Asabe Manu. Wamalam Pogu. Patience Zakwa. Saraya Mastova. Mary Dowder. Gloria Dowder. Gloria Menta. Hanata Menta, Hanatu Ishaku, Gloria Dama, Tabitha Fogu, Maifa Dama, we speak your names tonight. Ruth Kolo, Esther Usman, Awa James, Antonia Yahona, Kume Muta, Aisha Ezekiel, Unguba Guba, Kwanta Simon, Kuma Aboku. Esther Marcus, Hannah Stephen, Rivkatu Amos, Rebecca Malum, Blessing Abana, Ladi Wadai, Tabitha Hailimpa, Ruth Ngalda, Safia Abdu, Naomi Yahona, Solomi Titus, Rhoda John, Rebecca Kabu, Christy Yahi, Rebecca Luca, Laraba John, Saratu Marcus, Mary Usman, we speak your names tonight. Deborah Yahona, Naomi Zakaria, Hanatu Musa, Hawa Tela, Juliana Yakubu, Susanna Yakubu, Sarayan Paul, Jumai Paul, Mary Sule, we speak your names tonight. Jumai John, Yankee Shitima, Muli Waligam, Fatima Tabji. Eli Joseph, Saratu Emmanuel, Deborah Peter, Rahila Petrus, Lugwa Sander, Kuna Lailai, Lydia Ima, Laraba Maman, Awa Isua, Comfort Avila, Hawa Abdu, Hawa Bauti, Yana Joshua, Laraba Paul, Saraya Amos.
Jesus, Glory, Yaga, Naomi, Petrus, Godia, Petrus. We speak your names tonight. Naomi, Luca, Miriamu, Lawan, Tabitha, Silas, Mary, Yahuna, Ladi, Joel. Rejoice, Sankey. We speak your names tonight. Lugwa, Samuel, Comfort, Amos, Saraya, Samuel, Sika, Abdo, Talata, Daniel. Rejoice, Musa. We speak your names tonight. Deborah Abari, Salome Pogo, Mary Amon, Ruth Joshua, Esther John, Esther Ayuba, Mariama Yakubu, Sarah Ishako, Mariama Wabi, Naomi Petrus, Rahila Yahana, Ruth Lawan, Ladi Paul, Mary Paul, we speak your names tonight. Helen Musa, Margaret Wasai, Deborah Yafaru, Philo Dauda, Febi Haruna, Ruth Ishako. Rachel Nkeki, Rifka Tu Solomon, Miriamu Yahaya, Sarah Tu Dauda, Yinka Shama, Margaret Shitima. Miriamu Yahaya, Sarah Tu Dauda, Yinka Shama. We speak your names tonight. Margaret Shetima, Yana Yidal, Grace Paul, Amina Ali. Palmata Musa, Alagana Musa, Pinda Nui, Yana Pogu, Saraya Musa, Hawa Joseph, Hawa Kwakwa, Hawa Musa, Miriamu Musa, Mamuna Usman, Rebecca Joseph, Liyatu Hapitu, Naomi Philemon, Deborah Abbas, Ladi Ibrahim, Asabe Ali, Miriamu Polama, Ruth Amos, we speak your names tonight. Mary Ali, Abigail Buka, Deborah Amos, Saraya Yangu, Kaluna Luka, Christiana Petrus, Yana Buka, Howard Peter, Hadiza Yakubu, Lydia Simon, Ruth Petrus, we speak your names tonight. Mary Yakubu, Lugwa Muta, Mua Daniel, Hanatu Nuhu, Monica Enoch, Margaret Yama, Dorcas, Dorcas Yakubu, Rhoda Peter, Saratu Ayuba, Naomi Adamu, Hawa Ishai, Rahab Ibrahim. We speak your names tonight. Ahi Abdu, Hassan Adamu, Rikaya Kwanta, Halima Gamba, Aisha Lawan, Kabu Mala, Yayi Abana, Faita Lawan, and Kwadugu Manu. We speak your names tonight. Hallelujah. 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 We Let's give God a hand clap of praise today. Come on, let's give God praise today for his goodness, for his kindness.
So we are already there in Africa because we're tied by blood. We are tied by a common bond and a spirit. So on today, we're going to thank God right now yes. in advance yes. for the freedom of his sons and daughters. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. I heard names like Grace. Names like blessing. When we say name, we're saying a nature. These are natures. These are indwelling spirits that are already free. So we, when we call their names, we have called forth their freedom. Already in the name of Jesus. It's already done. So I wrote this uh, piece specifically for this event because your first lady, please put around, please get, please, please, please. just the destruction of life, but robbery of innocence. It is not just terror in the young hearts of the innocent, but an ache that reaches its cold and arctic fingers around the world. It is not just tears and wails of inconsolable mothers, but the fear and havoc for young girls who are deprived of their consent for first kisses, freedom, and other childhood treasures. It is not just the plea for Africa. It is a plea for humanity to heed. It is for the sacredness of their divinity. It is for the preservation of life. It is for the blessing and birthright of a nation. It's for our daughters. It's for our ancestors. It is for our native land. It is for our God. It is for the righteousness of doing what is right in the face of opposition and death. Let me say that again. It is for the righteousness of doing what is right in the face of opposition and death. It is for life. It is for mine. It is for yours. It is for my children. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Clap those hands one more time and give God praise. Can you tell the Lord thank you? Come on, just say thank you. Thank you. Down through the years, I've learned that when I begin to thank God, I see the quicker manifestation of what it is that I'm praying for. It's an act of faith when you thank God. Somebody say amen. amen. And when you believe that you have received, I think it's just good manners to say, yeah, to say thank you. And I know that many have prayed already and many are going to continue to pray, but we already counted as done. Somebody say amen. amen. And if we count it as done, then we need to be grateful. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, when I receive something from God, I'm usually pretty glad about it. I'm usually pretty happy about it. Come on here. I start shouting and praising God and giving God thanks. Somebody say amen. Now, listen, anybody can praise God when they got it in their hand. But it takes faith to praise God in advance. Can I get somebody to just give God some praise right now in advance? I'm in the right church. Uh, uh, you really know that you got it. Uh, yeah. When you really know that you've received it, hallelujah. You can jump up and down. You stop turning all around and giving God the glory. I know it's a little hot. I know it's a little humid. Amen, somebody. But I can still wave my hand. Ha, glory to God. And give God the glory tonight. Hallelujah. My assignment is to pray tonight. And anytime I'm going to do anything for the Lord, I want to make sure I'm on the right page and speaking the right things. Because I know the power of prayer. Amen. Somebody say amen. You have to learn how to speak to those things. If you don't speak to it, won't nobody else speak to it for you. Somebody say amen. amen. So one of the first things that God had Moses do, he said, go speak to Pharaoh and tell him, let my in the right church. Somebody said, you better talk to him. You got to speak to the situation, speak to your sickness, speak to your disease and tell him, what God said. Somebody say amen. amen. You've got to send news to your adversary what the word of the Lord already is concerning the situation. Somebody say amen in here. Amen. And so tonight we're going to declare and decree, amen, the will of God, amen, concerning these young women that have been kidnapped out of their homes and from away from their families and, and their lives have been taken, amen. We know right now in the name of Jesus that my God is able to restore. Amen, somebody. But how many of you know not only will he restore, but he'll restore double for your trouble? Somebody say amen. amen. And when the enemy comes in like a flood, that my God will raise up a standard against him. Am I in the right place tonight? Yes. I come to stir you up just a little bit. Amen, somebody. Because I heard somebody say, you're going to have to have faith. Somebody say amen. Amen. And faith is believing that God's ability is already made available for you. All you have to do is believe. All things are possible to him that believe. Amen, somebody. And so while I was sitting there, God gave me some very specific things to pray for. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Number one, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, it says, the kingdom of God suffered violence, but the violence, somebody say, take it. Somebody say, take it, take it. Now listen, when something gets taken from you, Amen. You've got to be bad enough to go take it back. Somebody say amen. amen. You've got to be able to walk into the enemy's camp and say, that don't belong to you. Somebody say amen in this amen. place. And so tonight we're going to pray, amen, amen, for a violent, fervent, amen, attack, amen, in the name of Jesus, for release of these daughters in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight. We give your name the glory and the honor and the praise. And this is the confidence that we have in you tonight. That if we ask anything according to your will, O oh God, we know that you will hear us and give us the things that we have desired in the name of Jesus. Now, Father God, we speak over the lives of these Nigerian daughters in the name of Jesus. 
Every single one of them that have been named in this place tonight. Father God, we ask that they be loosed, amen, from captivity so that they may worship the true and living God. In the name of Jesus. And Father God, we speak to the spirit of abduction in the name of Jesus. And we bind that spirit in Jesus' name. Not just for the daughters that are in Nigeria, but the spirit of abduction, amen, in this uh, United States of America, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus against the spirit of a kidnapper. In the name of Jesus, one that would come in and steal unawares, one that would sneak in and creep in. We bind it up right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we ask in Jesus' name for you to cover these daughters and keep these daughters and bring about a speedy release in the name of Jesus. Father God, I loose right now the power to escape. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we declare and decree in the name of Jesus for these captives to let the daughters go in the name of Jesus. We count it as done right now in Jesus' name. We give your name the glory. We give your name the praise. Now, right now, while I'm praying, while I'm talking, I want you to see every daughter being released right now. In the name of there goes another one. Hey, go. There goes another one. Hey, Hey, The spirit of escape. Hey, loose him. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There goes an A. Hey, sign. There goes another in the name of Jesus. 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 A mighty exodus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. A powerful release. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Come on, clap those hands. Come on, clap them, clap them. Hallelujah. Now, if you believe it is done, I need you to give God thanks one more time. Come on, Come on thank you. Come on. Come on, thank you. Come on, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the release. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see some young girl running into the arms of my mother. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I see some father seeing his daughter run up the road. Looking to see that that's his baby. Thank you. Oh, I hear the news. I hear the news, baby. You're released. I can hear it in the spirit. Come on, come on. Thank you. Come on, thank you, come on, thank you, come on, thank you. Couldn't nobody do it but you. Couldn't nobody do it but you. The heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. He moves it like the rivers. He can turn it whichever way he wants it. Ouch! I heard the word of God say the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous. It availeth much. Hallelujah. We've got to stand in faith. In the name of Jesus. Come on, celebrate. Come on, celebrate. In Jesus' name. Come on, come on. One more time. Come on, celebrate. Come on, come on. Celebrate what he's doing. Celebrate the breakthrough. Celebrate the chains being broken. Celebrate the yokes being destroyed. Celebrate the lives being destroyed. Come on, celebrate. If you believe he did it, you ought to celebrate it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, clap those hands one more time. Bless the wonderful name of the Lord. In Jesus' name. This time we're going to invite God to minister to us. Stella Award winner, Princeton Porter. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Yes. Through the good times, through the rough times. Yes. And we know what we're here for. Asking the Lord to help those young girls. Could have been ours. It could have been another way, as our pastor says. It could have been another way. 
God said, saw fit to watch over us. Amen. He's Amen. watching Thank over you. them. And we know he's watching over them. And we're not going to look at it any other way. And as I keep hearing, I just keep hearing all evening how the chains are broken. Yeah. And you know what? That's because of the power in the name of Jesus. He is so powerful. His name can break all the chains.
attention and God's attention. We're praying and we're praising. Amen. We knew what God, uh, Paul and Silas did. They prayed, they praised, and the Holy Ghost came there. For these girls, we claim a victory in the name of Jesus. Testimony is ours. We're already celebrating. Amen. We're already celebrating. Amen. I'm not here to preach. I'm here to pray. But it's good for us to have the understanding of what we're praying to God. It's all about thanksgiving. You already said it. Amen. Because the Lord inhabits in the praises of his people. Right? Amen. We know it's kind of hard here, but you know, don't worry, we'll be okay in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, I'm asked tonight to pray, you know, for the strength, for the girls. You know, sometimes it's like 90, 91 days now that they've been in captain. They need the strength Come on now. Yes. to fight the battle. Yes. And we know that the Lord will strengthen them in the name of Jesus. Yes, I'm going to read yes, to us Psalms 32. Story 2, verse 7. Thou art my hiding place. Yes, Lord. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with sons of believers. Amen. 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 So we're going to pray that the Lord be a hiding place yes. inside of those children. I mean, we can imagine if it is your, not even your child, a brother or a relative, how much more, you know, losing your child. If the child is dead, it's a different thing, but you don't even know where your child is. It's so hard to explain. So, we want to pray for these children that the Lord will strengthen them. But I really want us, you know, we're not here to mourn, we're not here to be weary, we're here to celebrate that victory because testimony is ours in the name of Jesus. You know, there's so many things happening all over the world, but I'll give us this one testimony in order for us to know that with God, all things are possible. Amen. With God, nothing, right? That's what shall be impossible. The only thing God cannot do is nothing. So he can do all things. Amen. There was a time, I think, um, a mother and two children were kidnapped. And they find themselves in this place, you know, of uh, these uh, pillars. But do you know, the little child has the strength. I want you to know the power of that, the, 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 the strength of God from within you. Because you can be tired from outside, but if that rises up from within you, you're able to do anything. Because it says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. This little child, even when the mother don't know what to do, is the one that held on to a mantle. There was no way of escape for these children and the mother. But this little child had a mantle, you know, listening, and that's why it's good to bring their children to church and have them listening to the word of God. It's whatever they take with them, that's what they're going to use to fight the battle. You understand? So it's very important to impact our children with the word of God. This little child took the mantle and called the name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. Believe you me, the door was open. There was fire that came out. The Lord honored the word of that little child. So we're going to pray for these children wherever they are. God knows. Even if we don't know, they say, sheep. He knows the exact point. And we're going to call the name of Jesus. How many of you know the story of uh, in 2 Chronicles 20? What happened? Jehoshaphat. King Jehoshaphat. What did they do? They were praising, praising, praising. And what happened? Those enemies, 
they rose against themselves. They killed themselves. It's not impossible. If they're not ready to take them back, let them turn against themselves and kill themselves. Those two children can have a way of escape. Amen? So, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're praying. The angels are walking and we have God's attention. When God is here right now as we're praising him and we know he's walking, he's walking, he's walking. And that battle is over in the name of Jesus. So we're going to pray. Let's rise up on our feet as we pray and thank God. We we know the victory is already the, the battle is already won and victory is ours in the name of Jesus. But let's lift up these children that their name have been mentioned tonight and the one that we don't even know their names that the Lord will strengthen them even in this battle in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, there is nothing. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and call it done in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because when God says in, every devil will step out. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Because you are hiding place, oh Lord. Father, we pray that you strengthen these children from within. That none of them will grow weary or tired, Lord. In this part, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray that your fear will surround them, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord. Because we know that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we lift up these children before you. Right now, wherever they are, Lord. Father, we have pleaded the blood. We have prayed. We have praised, Lord. It is time, Lord, for this. Oh, Lord, to be we give you praise, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we come against every fear, every lies of the enemy that surrounds these children, Lord, to give way in the name of Jesus to this sons of deliverance. In the name of Jesus, for we know that the battle is of the Lord. The battle is of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this battle that you have won, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you all honor. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my cerebral shaker. Rabba cerebral sede. Brethren, let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let's thank God for these children. Let's thank God for this strength. Let's thank God for surrounding them with his age of fire. In the name of Jesus. No more shall any one of these children be killed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We give you all of you. In the name of Jesus and adoration, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, blessed be the holy name. Blessed, blessed be the holy name. Father, we thank you. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Lift up your hands and tell him it's worthy. Let's thank the Lord for what he has done. Let's give him praise. Let's give him glory. Let's give him all honor that he did want to his name. Oh, Father, we thank you for this children. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you all glory. Thank you for the strength. Thank you, Lord, because you said even though that they were, even in the valley of the shadow of death, you said we should fear no evil. Father, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We hide these children, Lord, even under your power, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting King of glory. For you alone as worthy, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, you are worthy. You
When I used to go to Oral Roberts University long time ago, Lord was good then. He's still good now. We would have time sessions just like this.
the heavenly places are wide open. I believe we are standing under an open heaven and that the angels of the Lord and the archangels of the Lord and the principalities of God and the powers of God have already gone before us, have already made their way to Nigeria. They have already converged on the land that we're talking about. They have already moved into the camp of every village. They have already moved into the hut of every girl. And I believe the angels of the Lord are turning things around right now. The Bible says that when the Israelites came out of Exodus, they came out by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Honey, God can do the miraculous. I don't care where you are in the world. God is able to turn it around on tonight. And I believe it just took a group of people who would be faithful. So I have been, I have been assigned with praying for the spirit of unification. And I want God to do more than unify us tonight. I want convergence in Nigeria. I want supernatural convergence. And I want natural convergence. How many know that sometimes when we pray for things, we need to include other elements? We need to pray that God moves the political scheme. Huh? Because I don't know what the trigger of compulsion is for Mr. Abaku. But God can make that trigger come alive. So I am praying for God to converge politically, spiritually, supernaturally, angelically. I am praying that God would converge even in the hearts and minds of families. If it was my daughter, and I said to somebody on Facebook, I said, it could have been me. If we were brought over here on boats some hundreds of years ago, it could have been us. So tonight we just want to pray. I just want to pray and ask God that he would converge on so many different levels. And we would see a quick turnaround. And I believe that God has already done it. This is just a spirit of, this is just a prayer of unification that God continues to do the work, not just in us, but even as we leave this place, that God would continue to do the work outside of this house. Amen? Amen. And then why don't you stand to your feet just as the spirit of prayer is going forth. Father, I just thank you tonight, God. Father, I thank you because no weapon formed against these young ladies shall prosper. Not one weapon, God. Not one weapon, God. Not one weapon will work, Father. Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus for every young girl that lies in her tub. God, for every young lady that sits in a, on her bed, God. God, wondering where you are. God, I just pray right now in the name of the Lord Jesus that you will begin to raise up her faith, God. You will begin to raise up her confidence, God. I pray that angels will begin to walk every hut, God. God, I pray that our angels will begin to be dispatched into that place, God. And God, I pray that you will show up in a miraculous way. Holy Ghost, you are our paraclete. You are our powerhouse. Show up as a pillar of cloud by day, God, and a pillar of fire by night. God, I thank you right now because you have a strategy, God, to bring every girl home. And God, I pray right now in the name of the Lord Jesus, you execute that strategy, God, in the political arena, in the governmental arena. God, I pray that you bring money, God. I pray that you bring finance, God. God, I pray that you bring trains, God. You bring buses, God. God, I pray that you bring horses, God. God, I pray however your way of escape is, God, you would bring it into manifestation, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I rebuke and I bind everything that would hinder the way of escape, God. God, you are delivering, God. You are delivering, turning around, God. God, I know just in a moment, just in the twinkling of the eye, God, you can turn it around, Father. And Father, I thank you. God, you begin to turn things around right now, God, on this night, God. And Father, even in the spirit, God, I begin to envision girls already out of their huts. Already in the family's presence. God, I thank you for the CNN headlines, God. God, I thank you for the Fox headlines. I thank you for MSNBC already reporting it, God. God, I, mean, I thank you right now, God. I come into alignment with heaven's plan, God. I come into alignment with heaven's strategy, God. You are a great counselor. You are a great deliverer. You are a great strategist, God. And I thank you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus that you're bringing all things into fruition right now on this very night, God. I thank you for it, God. I thank you for every headline all over the world trying to figure out how God did it. But we know right now, God, you've done it because we prayed. God, we gave you supplication. We gave you prayer. We gave you thanksgiving. And God, I'm grateful to you because no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And I thank you that you're with every girl on this 
journey and you give them the testimony. You give them the faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord. You know, um, one thing I learned today is that our prayers has been connected. You know, I can't let the fact to change my faith. But my faith will change the fact. Because if God did it for Daniel, if he did it for Paul and Silas, he got to do it for me. You know, I came from Nigeria. And when I heard this story, it's like my heart was broken. I said, mm, 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 mm. Lord, what is going on? I remember one time that I was in Nigeria and the Christians, all of them were slaughtered by the Muslims. And they would come and ask you, do you believe in God or do you believe in Muslims? But if you say no, that you believe in God, they will kill you. You know, religion is not something you force somebody to do. And it's something that God will come from your heart. From your heart. You know, I look at it that devil is walking. And a lot of them are ignorant. But today, our prayer must surely change all the situation. Amen. The next news that we will, we will receive is that those girls that be afraid. Amen. Yes. You know, Hallelujah. in my language they say something that when something did happen to you, you don't know what it is. Because uh, when the woman of God, she was saying something about their parents, you know, how they failed and stuff. In my heart, I was crying. I was sitting right on here, but I was crying. But God knows it all. God, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. And no one like you. You are so great. You are so great to me. Lord, I will give you praise. And no one is like you. You did it for Daniel, Lord, you did it for them, cause I know you got to do it for us, I praise you, Lord, I praise you, Lord, I praise you, Lord. We praise you. And without no wasting of time, I want us to make a song right now. Because we have to send the devil back. We have to send the devil back. And the devil is the back out of our territory. Because our territory don't belongs to him. And, uh, bro, you know, I would like you to, you know, devil. Get back in. I don't want to see you in my territory. Devil, get back in. I don't want to see you in my territory. Devil, get back in. Woo! I don't want to see you in my territory. I say, devil, get back in. Oh, I don't want to see you in my territory. All right. I don't wanna see you in my territory. Woo. I don't wanna see you in 
Personally, I've lost a daughter. I've lost a young man, two years old. And I know what it is, what it feels like. I know what it is, I know what it feels like to lose a child. And my heart is with each and every one. But the Lord said for us to cast our cares upon him. But he cares for us. He cares for those children. He cares for their parents. He cares for you. He cares for me. The word says I will lift up my eyes into the hills. From what's cometh my help. For my help it comes from the Lord. The creator of heaven. The creator of earth. The creator of all things. So Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for every speaker. We thank you, oh God, for your movement in this house. For Lord, your word says that when the praises go up, that the blessings come down. We thank you that the doors are opening. <laughs> Yes, the doors are opening. You said speak those things that be not as though they are. <laughs> and we declare freedom for those girls in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the precious blood that has covered them from the crowns of their heads to the soles of their feet. We thank you for their lives. We thank you for the promise that you gave them. That the promise is still on their life. That they shall do great things. For too much is given, much is required. Oh, there was a reason. But we know, Lord, that you are God that cannot be. So on tonight, Lord, I ask that your blood will cover each and every one. That has come out tonight, Lord, as we head to our households or to our destinations. Let your precious blood cover, keep, and watch over. Let no and nothing come now 
thy dwelling in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the woman and man of that man and woman of this house. Continue to bless them. Bless this ministry. Strengthen, yes, O oh God. Strengthen, O oh God. That they may continue, Lord, to do the work that you're calling them to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. I really owe you a debt that I can never repay. But just know that everyone that is seated here tonight, everybody that stepped foot in here tonight, I'm speaking prophetically that your name has been registered in heaven this very night in that book of life. You being here, your name is being printed in the Lord's book of life. And that shall be your reward. That shall be your reward. I am so humbled. I am truly humbled. When God said that we should love one another. This is what it's all about. We don't have to know each other personally. It's the love of Christ that is in us that makes us to carry the burden. And I thank you. And the Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless you exceedingly, abundantly, far above what you could ever imagine. Because you answered the call. Every single person I called here tonight, without hesitation, without hesitation, you said, count me in. And for that, your name has been recorded in the Lord's book of life. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace. Let us rise in our hearts and share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen and amen.